Well, we're waiting for Jazz to return something, and then we're gonna head over to the hover travel, like pier area. Mine's later. Yeah. Yours matches your sweatshirt. Oh yeah. And my new shirt, kind of. <laughs> so you'll get black if you camera. to the safety notice in front of you. You will see that your life jacket is stowed under your seat. Instructions on how to put on your life jacket are shown on the safety seat to safety message. If you have any questions, please ask for help. If you wish your pleasant journey, Okay, so we're on the Isle of Wight. That was a really cool way to travel. No, Wasn't even like no, that expensive that considering. It was not. I thought it was super cool. Yeah, me too. Like you couldn't really feel that you're like really on the water. It was like that smooth. And also we weren't like outside like you would be on like a ferry or a ship or something. Um, or with some of them at least. But yeah, that was a uh, super smooth, super cool. And uh, yeah. Pretty unique. I mean, there's not a whole lot of places you can do that, if, if any other places. Hi, 
sure. Yeah, this is a pretty cool little like area to escape to. Yeah. And again, it only took like, I don't know, 10. Ooh, let's see it. Nice. It only took like 10 or 15 minutes to get over here. And I mean, you have like actual beaches and it's also sunny today, which turned out really well. I didn't really even check the weather forecast because I mean, we probably end up going anyway, but I think it'd be a cool vibe too if it was kind of like stormy or rainy on the beach. But, I mean, this is also nice, considering we haven't been to the beach in a while. So we had some lunch at the the Alamo. Pretty freaking good. Bread. Even bread. the oh yeah, Milo's got some bread on a stick. <laughs> He's trying to give it to a seagull. But yeah, food was good. Um, finally, we were able to get some cocktails. We've been getting some drinks at the bars at the hotel, but like they can't really mix anything, and they're pretty limited on their ingredients. But those were pretty solid, and the food in general was just really good. Even the kids were eating their food. Um, but yeah, now we're just gonna go back by the water. We have about an hour and a half before we need to catch the next hovercraft. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna chill by the water, maybe get ice cream, I guess. And uh, yeah, so far it's turned out pretty well. The weather is great too. Wow, let's go check out. Yeah, what was with that doll? <laughs> I know they had like a magnet version of it too. Oh, it must mean something. Monkey, um, rehabilitation program here or something. Is that what that was? I have no idea.
it on your head. That's the place to put it. <laughs> so be very careful where you're walking because it's okay. not flat. Okay. And there are things to bash into, all sorts of hazards because okay. they. They weren't built for comfort, these things. And <laughs> yeah. So just be careful where yeah. you, you know, okay. you walk and so. Sounds good. Fancy, isn't it? Ooh, that is pretty fancy. Oh, your shirt matches the stairs. <laughs> Imagine that view. This one's pretty freaking big. You can't even like really see too well. You're like this trying not to hit other ships. You got it. You can do it. Yeah. Oh, it's Milo sized. Okay, so it is April 8th. We are leaving our hotel here in Portsmouth. We're gonna be taking a train over to Bristol. It's at like 10.30. It's only gonna be like two and a half hours, which isn't too bad. But yeah, we're gonna grab some breakfast first. I, w I forgot I didn't close up the video or like the vlog, I guess day from yesterday because I ran out of memory on my SD card because I was recording too much stuff. But yeah, now we're all packed up. Um, we still have everything in two suitcases right now. Um, which is getting to be a struggle because obviously we bought like clothes and stuff and souvenirs So definitely when we're leaving here, we're gonna have to break out We bought like a sea bag like kind of like a navy sea bag um, And we're gonna use that as like a third luggage whenever we're leaving we're flying out uh, But yeah, we're probably going to have to we're definitely going to have to use that soon because yeah <laughs> Though at least the one suitcase is like literally like about to just explode. It's like I mean, you, I don't know if you can really tell, but I had tell to, right here. yeah, I had to expand it and then like kind of collapse it again after like sitting on it. And I had to take my laptop out because, you know, so I could actually sit on it and not destroy a bunch of stuff. Um, but yeah, we're about to head out. It's going to get some breakfast first and yeah, I'll shoot some, some B-roll. It should be a pretty cool train ride. I mean, we did the one from Paddington Station to Bristol and that was like pretty scenic, but this one is going to have some slightly different routes. Hi. Huh. What do you see? Oh, uh, train. So that's the Southwestern Railway. Um, we're taking the GWR, which I think is the Great Western Railway. Um, yeah, I mean, the ticket prices weren't too bad, but the app was garbage, so I ended up double booking by accident um, because it said, like, the payment didn't go through. And then I'm like, okay. And that the one time I didn't check to see if I got charged, I ended up did getting charged, and, yeah, I ended up getting another booking. So hopefully they'll give me a refund, but if not, that's going to be kind of a pain in the butt. I'll try and transfer it for like Bristol to London or something. At least get some credit. I don't know. Last time I tried getting a refund from them, um, it didn't happen. So that's kind of kind of whack. And also something I noticed real quick, the luggage prices really aren't that bad. I think it was like 20 pounds per bag. And like we knew that they were going to be overweight, at least going from... Edinburgh to Southampton. We knew it was going to be overweight and it was. Both of them were, I think, actually. Because um, you're only allowed a 15 kilogram bag and it was like 
19 and 23 or something. Uh, but they didn't like overcharge us or charge us like an excess baggage fee, which is nice. Meanwhile, flying out of the US with two underweight suitcases, it was like $75 per bag. Like, <laughs> super and the, whack. And it definitely said it wasn't going to charge us anything. Yeah, I know. On but, the reservations, no charges. So yeah, we tried arguing that, but it was just super awkward because the person at Delta Airlines didn't really know what they were doing. But so far, like every place here, you know, when we're flying or taking the luggage, hasn't been an issue at all, and it's been, you know, substantially cheaper. There's also family lines, which, yeah, right, if you're gonna get that in the US. You literally need to pay extra, like TSA PreCheck or some other nonsense, to be able to actually, like, go into a line that's not as annoying. But, like, for us, there was customs, there's like a family line and like all the security and stuff there's like family lines which is nice and in general the security just goes pretty quick um the only time that we got held up is someone was arguing saying they, they had like a giant bottle of like baby oil or something and the dude's like you're only allowed 100 milliliters so like yes this is 100 he's like it says 500 on the bottle and they're just they were mind blown but that was the only thing <laughs>